Um, the difference I've seen with people who are successful with them and those that aren't is definitely like the confidence factor of like, and I know we hear this all the time, but it's, it's, it's so true from the other side too. It's like, if you do a take and then you don't like it and you sh like, even in your body language or like you do a take and they say scene and then you're like, it just shows like it shows and you just have to own every single thing about yourself to till you're off the zoom. Then you can cry about it. You can do whatever. But I just think at the end of the day, you have invested how many hours and how much energy and years of whatever into your career that whether it's good or bad, we should be allowed to be proud of whatever we've produced because the end result is always going to be a combination of experiences of your life. And whether it's good or bad, it's okay. But if you own it, it just gives like a whole different perspective. Even if you own it in a way where you're like, you know what? Um, I don't feel great about that take. I would really love the opportunity to do it again. And sometimes they might say no because they might be pressed for time. But I think showing that kind of confidence in I'm being self-aware right now. And honestly, I know I can do better. That you have nothing to lose by asking. And I, listen, I'm preaching to the choir here. From I'm, This is casting hat, Tanu one. But I know when it's me, I'm like, thank you. Hi. Like, you know, because it's, 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 it's like a whole different. Right? Oh my gosh. I uh -huh. time. What am I doing here? I don't, I don't even deserve to be here. And we don't feel like we did. We're there for a reason, right? Yeah. Like we're trying to make yep. their job easier and get a cast because we can do it. And they 100%. believe that we can do it. And then we just don't believe in ourselves. And we, we just like, we. Isn't that crazy? Oh. Like we literally sacrifice so much to be able to do this and then don't believe in ourselves when it matters the most. And I think, I mean, I know for me, like fear of success is a very big thing. Like I have equal parts fear of failure and fear of success, which just puts me in this weird like bubble um, where sometimes I thrive and sometimes I just beat myself down. But I, I, yeah, I don't know. It's, it, it's interesting watching it from the other side. Like at the end of the day, you can only control so much. And as a performer, you control even less. And all you can do is be responsible for your own work. And that is it. That is the end of, you can't send cookies after the fact and hope you get the job. You can't, you know, beg for the job. You can't call, call your agent and be like, get me another audition because I, I messed up. You just, all you can do is own your work, whether it's good or bad, and take responsibility for it. And find a way to feel proud of something even if it's two percent find a way to feel proud of something because to stand in front of a zoom camera or even in person in front of intimidating people behind a desk and put yourself out there and be vulnerable and and share yourself as an artist it's fucking hard and we do not give ourselves enough credit for it and this whole industry is pretty thankless when it comes to that so I think we just have to do it for ourselves. And it's really important. It's, it's for your own mental state. It's just so important.